Good morning, you beautiful bunch. So today is Friday the 30th of September. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate the fact that tomorrow is the 1st of October, that means there is three months until Christmas. Three months until Christmas and then the new year. Can someone explain to me please where this past year has gone? It's really scary. But right now it's two o'clock, I'm starting the vlog a little bit later. I've been doing some errands, some work this morning, a new YouTube video went up and now I'm gonna head to the gym. I've got some errands to run, gotta to speak to the manager and yeah, I'm just gonna take you throughout my day. store right now and basically after stripping back my diet a little bit more and um, assessing my symptoms and what I can do to help I realized that I'm not drinking enough water not at all anymore so basically now um, I have the business I have uni I have all sorts of stuff going on and I'm pretty much like all over the place all the time so unless I physically have a bottle with me I just forget to drink so oh Basically, I'm just like spending crap loads of money buying bottled water wherever I go. And even then, like it's just not enough. Um, I've tried buying like big bottles of two liters, but that is just a pain in the ass to carry around. <laughs> this one it's been a long time since she's been, been on long. the vlog oh my god so tell them what you've been doing what have you been up to uh, how's it been? It's been a long time she basically she went to Barcelona she went to Barcelona without me I was meant to go but I was an anxious little bitch and couldn't but she absolutely killed it yeah international what was it the Arnold? The Arnold Classic, yeah. Arnold Classic Barcelona. We're about to go get some carb killers because, you know. Yeah, all you know. healthy trees, of course. Health. There it is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That one. They're the best one. No, but cookies and cream. No, 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 no. White hey. chocolate. Cookies and cream's nice, but not as good as white chocolate. I bought the best one was, so. Is it coconut milk? Yeah, thank you. No, no, just normal. Silly to put cinnamon in tea. No. Yeah. <laughs> Do and cheese? I? Try it. What did you say? <laughs> It's not a saying, is it? Not worth risking. No, I think it's don't break what's not broken. No. Don't try and fix what's not broken. Don't try and fix what's not broken. Right. Nothing wrong with this cup of tea. Don't need to fix it. <laughs> don't need to fix I'm gonna spill this. I am definitely gonna spill this. that I don't drink enough water anymore and I drink too much caffeine. So I got this today. That's right. I got this today. However, 
may have had two cups of coffee already. That's right. I've had I've had some water. A little bit better than normal. What are we training tonight? It's fairly dark. Chesticles. Chesticles? Chesticles. No, we're not. Shoulders. We're just training shoulders, aren't we? I'm doing both. And then boxing. I'm just gonna train shoulders. My chesticles are still sore from the other day. So I just had a nice pre-workout snack. So I got these from Aldi. These are scrumptious, spelt and muesli crisp bread. So they're gluten free, which obviously, great. And macro wise, we're talking four grams of fat, 14 carbs and three point something, 3.2 protein. Yeah, that's right. And 2.2 fiber. So I had one and a half of these and then just topped it with a little bit of the Meridian Coconut Peanut Butter. Yay, so we are heading to the gym right now. I'm super pale, I'm gonna tan tonight. I have this My Protein Vest of On and... And these are the Victoria's Secrets uh, knockout tights that I was telling you all about. They're super cute, super comfy. Good morning beautiful people and welcome back to the commentary of this video. So I'm just basically going to do a commentary over the top of my chest workout that I did this day. So I did say early in the video that I was just going to train shoulders because my chest was a little bit sore. But I ended up jumping in with Sam as well, took advantage of having a spot there and jumped on the flat bench. So I started off before this clip, I actually did a warm up with just the bar, just 20 kilograms. Here I've got 30 kilograms all together and I'm finding that I'm tucking my elbows a little bit more now um, but naturally because of my shoulder hypermobility and everything like that um, my shoulders do fl uh, not my shoulders my elbows do flare quite naturally so I was really trying to think about tucking my elbows in and basing the contraction purely through my chest uh, I then moved on to a third set so third set I did I think I managed eight reps at 30 kilograms again uh, I also then tried for my fourth set uh, which was probably a stupid idea because fourth set I was already pretty fatigued and um, I added on a 1.25 on top of that so it was literally like what 42.5 but that 2.5 made all the difference I think I hit five reps and although it doesn't look so much of a grinder on on this like it felt so grindy in real life uh, and I think mentally for me because I've not benched in quite a while because I'd not got Sam there to spot me because he was filming I think I was a little bit just like a little bit nervous in case I couldn't get it back up so I just re-racked it off camera I then hit another set at 30 kilograms 30 kilograms so minus the 2.5 and hit 10 reps again so I definitely can I reckon get around eight reps with the 1.25 on either side I think it was just a bit of a mental game that my body just kind of said uh-uh not today um so after this I then moved on to a second compound lift so I hit a shoulder press so overhead shoulder press Generally, I don't actually put overhead press into my routine uh, purely because you guys that have followed the channel for a long time will understand um, my shoulders dislocate. Generally, it's more my left shoulder. So I tend to do a lot of unilateral work um, purely so that I am uh, working the muscles separately rather than one overcompensating for the other because when I do things like overhead press, that is what generally will happen. Um, but I really wanted to give it a go. I've not done overhead press for a long time. So I start off with just the bar, so 20 kilograms. Um, that is just a little bit less than I can press unilateral. Um, and it felt really, really good. I then got a bit adventurous because obviously I was in the deadlift platform and they had the bumper plates. So instead of just putting on a small like biscuit plate, I put a five kilogram on either side. Um, I think I managed like three, four reps of this and then just put it down because I said to Sam, I said, my elbows aren't tucked enough, uh, my shoulder's hurting, it's just not worth it. It was definitely nice to get under the bar again and test my overhead press because I haven't done it since, God, we're talking a while back now and I couldn't even press the bar. Um, I was having to use preloaded bars, so I'm really pleased with that. I then was very sensible <laughs> and just stuck a 1.25 on either side, so it's just 22.5 kilograms, which again, I'm really pleased with. I do need to work on trying to tuck my elbows in a little bit more, but again, don't take that as the form that you should do. Um, generally for me, I struggle with shoulder movements because of my dislocating shoulders and spreading my elbows a little bit more just balances me. As you can see on these reps, I kept these ones in because you can see how my left shoulder is lagging behind. 
and I'm able to get the rep up fully on the right hand side and then the left shortly follows afterwards. Then I moved on to uh, lateral raises so you can see here I am performing lateral raises I'm using eight kilogram dumbbells on either side and basically for this movement you want to keep the torso in a stationary position and as you can see here I'm bouncing up I'm rocking it and basically this is just what I like to do when I do drop step complexes so first of all I do the heaviest weight possible first and generally I just like to get the muscles used to moving the heavier weight so I let the form slip ever so slightly not ridiculous like I'm not lifting weights that I cannot move I'm not being silly so generally for isolation exercises you don't really want to focus so much on the weight but actually the efficiency of the contraction so just make sure that when you're moving through the movement like I am here I'm making sure that my my elbows are always above my wrists during the complete movement phase um, just to keep the tension on the side delts rather than the front delts um, you can maybe like look at it in terms of think about pouring a glass of water with your like dumbbells so point them down ever so slightly and that should make sure that the um, tension is always through your side delt so then I moved on to my final finishing exercise uh, so I jumped on the cable machine. The cables are probably one of my favorite pieces of kit, especially because when it's busy, if you can get a cable machine, you can do a killer ass workout just on that one piece of equipment. I really like cables because they just keep the tension across all of my chest. Obviously your chest, you have got two muscles. So you've got your pec major and your pec minor. So your pec minor is the one that sits deep under the pec major. And your pec major is the larger of the two. Um, and it's basically like a large fan shape that covers the front of your upper chest. You might be able to just kind of see a little bit of definition in my chest as I'm doing these. This is what is causing this movement. So your pec major, the biggest role of it is to move your shoulder across your body. So when I'm doing um, neutral positioning, chest flies, anything like that where I'm bringing the contraction, the concentric part back to the center of my chest. So next, just to finish off for this cable complex, I've moved the cable pulley down. So I'm doing a low pull chest fly cable thing, whatever you want to call it. But basically I'm just aiming to hit my upper chest here. A lot of people don't do a lot of upper chest work and it's really important to include it in for a well-rounded physique. Um, so basically just put your cable machine right to the bottom and aim on squeezing up and getting that contraction at the top of the movement. Um, your pec minor will be getting involved here as well because the main role is to um, move your shoulder forwards and down so as you can see here from the full movement pattern my pec minor and my pec major will be engaged because it's like a combination of the two movements so basically that was my chest and shoulder workout I really hope you enjoyed it I finished off just to burn out with a few press ups which I found really challenging after hitting chest but again, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It really helps the channel to grow. So thank you to everyone that does it already. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next video. We have just finished up in the gym. Samuel just did some boxing. I just did a little bit more stuff. But overall, sick workout watch said we did around 300 on calories which is pretty average for an upper body workout don't really get my heart rate going as much but we really hope you enjoyed the video don't we yeah man <laughs> make sure you give it a big thumbs up this fish this fish angle makes it so weird but um yeah make sure you give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um, subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video